the four origins uh, origin hypotheses are these. So the first one is called the fission hypothesis, which essentially says that the moon kind of calved off of the earth so that the material from the moon was part of the earth. And for whatever reason, uh, a little bit of it got flung off and became the moon. Um, the his sister hypothesis says that the moon formed around the earth in the kind of the same way that the planets did around the sun by the accretion process. Uh, so that this happened in place. Uh, the third hypothesis is the capture hypothesis that says that the moon formed elsewhere via accretion, just like the other planets. And then at some point, Earth's gravity was able to capture the moon. Uh, so maybe its you know, orbit around the sun got perturbed for some reason, and then it had just the right speed uh, and, uh, I guess, relative motion, geometry of motion to get captured by the Earth's gravity. And the fourth hypothesis is the giant impact hypothesis, which says that a giant impactor hit the moon, uh, tore off some amount of uh, mantle from the earth, and then the you know, new body coalesced uh, that was, it's made partly of earth material and partly of the material from that original impactor. So those are our four main hypotheses. Um, here's kind of an image of the giant impact hypothesis. Um, According to this hypothesis, the original impactor was about the size of Mars, and it's called Theia. Um, and this would have formed a sort of debris disk around the Earth, and later that would have coalesced it to the Moon. So it's kind of similar to the you know, sister hypothesis, except that this original debris disk was not formed at the same time as the Earth, but was formed later. OK. so. Um, these ideas are for uh, the origin need to have some, you know, evidence base basis. And so your task in our activity now is to go through and figure out what is the evidence that we can use to help us decide between these theories.